Cooking? Mais oui, c'est moi. Le chef du jour. Bill. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I come here quite often for courting, remember? I mean at this time of day, not that I'm complaining. My meeting finished early, so I thought I'd sneak back and prepare you a little banquet. Ooh, do you also do hoovering and clean behind the boiler? At the usual rates. <laughs> I must say the pinny suits you. Do you think so? I like the style, but I'm not sure about the colour. Something smells funny. You mean wonderful. Something smells wonderful. Twice as wonderful, because I haven't had to do it myself. Tell Hannah dinner's ready. What is it? Spaghetti a la carbonara. Oh, that sounds like something I don't like. You wait and see. I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive Joe. He doesn't think it's proper food unless it comes out of a plastic box. Anna, dinner's ready! Right, not death. What were you all eating together for? Well, why not? We should do it more often. Bill's made dinner. What is it? Spaghetti a la carbonara. Oh, no. Well, for heaven's sake, what's wrong with that? Well, for a start, it's pasta, which is really fattening. Then it's got eggs in it, which are utterly solid cholesterol, not to mention bacon, which I can't eat being vegetarian. Well, you can take the bacon out. <sighs> Bill's gone to a lot of trouble. Well, Bill understands I've made an ethical decision, don't you, Bill? Ethics I cannot argue with, but I must say I am deeply hurt, if not totally put out by your attitude and Joe's to this culinary masterpiece. Fresh pasta, free-range eggs, herbs kissed by the Italian sun. It all looks very nice. I've just remembered. I've got football practice. It's dark. We're talking tactics. Yes, this sounds like <laughs> tactics. You sit down and eat your I'd meal. I'd really love to, Mum. Sit! Spaghetti helped the Romans rule the world. Did you know that? Oh, did they strangle people with it? <laughs> oh, I'm really going to enjoy this, Bill. I'll go. No, you stay where you are. I'll get it. Is the seasoning to your satisfaction? Could do with some ketchup. <laughs> hello? Who? Oh, yes, hello. How do you know it's my dog? Oh, yes, that sounds like my dog. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, I'll come right away. Thank you. Mmm. I have excelled myself today. Deef is at the police station. He must have got out of the back gate. Well, they want me to go and pick him up right away because he barks every time somebody walks in and they can't hear themselves think. You carry on, I'll see you later. Well, the pasta won't keep, you know. No, no, I'm sorry, Bill, but I wouldn't enjoy it, would I? I've had to rush through it. Oh, I'll come with you, Mum. I want to get my bike postcode in. Another time, Joe. you finish your meal. I didn't report... You're I'm not coming, Hannah. See you later. <sighs> you shouldn't have let Mum know you could cook, Bill. She'll make you do it all the time now. Well, I think I can handle your mother. Brave words. Besides, I enjoy cooking. It's not something men should have to do. Oh, Joe, do you want to become one of those terrible chauvinists who can't iron a shirt and think that Berth's strung off as a Russian weightlifter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do, really. He sees hopeless. I'm surprised, knowing your mother, I would have thought she'd have taught you how to cook. Oh, she tried once, but I was chopping vegetables while watching Match of the Day. He bled all over the courgettes. Him and Mum spent four hours in casualty. My cookery lesson sort of stopped after that. Besides, I don't need to cook. I'm going to make a fortune and eat out every day. Cooking is essential not only to survival, but it's also a very important part of courtship. A man who can make a decent omelette will never want for a bit of the... <laughs> female company. I don't want female company. Well, I certainly wouldn't want you. Cooking's girls' work. Oh, do. There is nothing sissy about cooking. Look at me. <laughs> Oh, oh. Bill, oh. shush, I can't hear the radio. Oh, I'm ill. What? Oh, I'm ill. I feel sick. Got a temperature? Oh. No, I don't think so. It's, it's a stomach ache. Oh, oh, must be something you've eaten. What? Sorry, I forgot you cooked it. Oh. <laughs> well, do you want anything? Um, Tea, coffee, boiled egg and soldiers. Oh, please. Oh. Will you... Uh, Better spend the day in bed here, then, I suppose. There's no point in struggling back to your flat. You can't go to work. Oh, oh I'll bring you a hot water bottle and something to drink, and you can oh. sleep it off. Oh. <laughs> Bill? Bill! Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, Joe. What time is it? Can you give me a lift to Darren's? It's dinner break. <laughs> I'd love to, Joe, but I'm busy dying at the moment. It'll only take five minutes. Only my bike's got a puncher and Darren's got some English I want to copy before this afternoon. Joe, don't be so unfeeling. 
I expect some sympathy at least. Oh, you'll be lucky in this house. <laughs> what do you mean? Mum's a rotten nurse, you know. Is she? She never gets ill. She doesn't? And she's got no patience with anyone who does. 24 hours is her limit. Limit for what? Well, sympathy. After that, she just gets bored and tells you to pull yourself together. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. Well, you wait and see. I'm never ill. I'd rather go to school than have Mum looking after me. <laughs> you know, do you mind if we continue this chat later? Only I think status quo is rehearsing in my brain. OK. <laughs> so can you give me a lift, then? Joe, go away. Sorry. Are you asleep? No. What's that? It's only me. Oh, Hannah. What time is it now? About five. I just got back from school. Mum said you were feeling grotty. Do you want anything? An early death would be a kindness. It's not that bad, is it? I'm being brave. It's much worse. You men make such a fuss. You take after your mother, do you? It's probably cholesterol poisoning. All that egg and pasta. Oh, Hannah, go away. <laughs> still in bed, are you? Oh, oh, I've been cloned in your absence. The real me is getting the coal in. Just surprise, that's all. What about? Well, I thought you'd have conquered it by now. It's not a horde of Mesopotamians, <laughs> <laughs> It's a stomach egg, and much, much worse. Fancy some scrambled eggs? Oh. <laughs> Phil, for heaven's sake, stop making that noise. I would if I could, believe me. I suppose you want another hot water bottle. How thoughtful of you. Uh, I've been working all day, you know. I realise that and I'm overwhelmed by your solicitude. <laughs> How very kind. It is my day for changing oh. the sheets, you know. Uh, I wish you'd told me, then I'd have been ill tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I hope you're going to be up by tomorrow, you know. We've got dinner with Hilary and Brian. I'll tell my stomach to put the word around. <laughs> You must be feeling better if you can make jokes. Of course, you're never ill, are you? Uh, who's been talking? Everybody except the dog. <laughs> what did they say? That you're a rotten nurse. Uh, can't be perfect at everything. Sometimes I think people get sick just to annoy me. <laughs> Hello? Bill? Alex! How are you? Well, I think I'm OK now. I'll probably be coming back tomorrow. What's been happening? You wouldn't believe it. Well, it can't be that dramatic. It may seem as if I've been away forever, but it's only three days, you know. Are you alone? Yes. Why are you being so mysterious? Oh, there's been some startling developments. No, oh, don't tell me some Pratt's changed the cover of the stately homes issue. No. Worse. Alex, I am a convalescent. I mustn't be upset. Just tell me. Liza's here. Liza has in trouble? The same. She isn't rustling around in my luncheon vouchers drawer, is she? No. <laughs> Much worse. She's working here. What? How the hell did that happen? Well, the editor has asked her to design a colour scheme for the office. Well, that's ridiculous. How did he come to meet her? Not a clue. Maybe she used your name as an introduction. Does he know that Liza and I were once manacled in marriage? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I thought I'd better warn you in case you came in tomorrow and she took you by surprise. That would not be unusual, Alice. Yes, thank you, mate. Look, I'll see you tomorrow, OK? Bye. Bill! Faith, my love. You're up. Yes, do you like me better now? Well, I can't help it if you don't like my bedside manner. You haven't got one. It seems such a waste going to bed just to be ill. Anna, oh, no, careful, careful. My body is still racked with fever. Oh, you are feeling better. Yes, in spite of the nursing staff. <laughs> Who's on the telephone? Oh, just the office. Are they missing you? Desperately. i better go in tomorrow. Where have you been all day? Oh, dropping off drawings at various places. I called it your place. The flat? No, no, the office. Did you? <laughs> I did, yes. <laughs> Why? Well, I uh, delivered the drawings to the Dress Up Your Dining Room feature. Well, they were yelling for them and I wasn't sure when you'd be back. Did you see anyone? Not really. It was lunchtime, Inspector Morse. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just been stuck at home all day. I'm anxious for news from the big world. <laughs> I did see one funny thing. Oh, what? There was this woman stalking around with a tape measure. 
One of the secretaries said she's bringing a new concept to the place, whatever that means. Huh. What did, uh, what did you think of her? Oh, the sort to have a breakdown over a split nail. <laughs> Why? Do you know who she is? Well, actually, it's funny Ooh. you should ask oh, that. Oh, Deefa! Deefa! Stop it! Bill, stop him! He's well, burying his bone! I can't move quickly, oh. Faith. I get dizzy. Hey, Deefa! Deefa! Come here! Give me your bone! Give me your... Deefa, don't do that. I was looking at your work when you were out today. Did you give me any gold stars? I saw the drawings you were doing of the garden landscape feature. And? What do you think? Ooh, fine. Fine? What do you mean, fine? Well, I mean fine. Well, fine sounds second-rate. Well, look, it's a fine night. Does that mean it's a second-rate night? It might. You can't expect me to burst into a round of applause every time you put a mark on a piece of paper. I would just like you to be more positive. You've got to understand, Faith, that as far as work is concerned, you're just another one of my freelance artists. That's dangerous talk when I've got both hands free. And I've been thinking... Ah, oh, when I say that, you get suspicious. You're a good artist, Faith. I'm not here for an interview, Bill. You could work anywhere. Where's this leading? Well, nowhere special. I mean, you don't necessarily have to work for me. Don't you want me to? I think it might be a good idea if you didn't. Is my work not up to standard? No, it's not that. Your work's... Fine, yeah. Very fine. It's just that... <laughs> oh, come on, Bill. Spit it out. But it's just that we're an item. An item? Oh, you mean we sleep together? Yes, I do. I see. Does that have an adverse effect on my brushwork? No, of course it doesn't. Well, what then? I mean, just that. We are a couple. Word gets around. People could say that you are working for Vista magazine because you're going out with the art editor. And do they? No. Well, not yet, anyway. What the hell are you talking about, then? I'm talking about the fact that I don't want to be accused of favouritism and I don't want people talking behind your back. Well, you're not and they aren't. They might. If I was a good artist before we were an item, why am I suddenly not a good enough artist now? No, it isn't that. I've been trying to explain. Yes, it is, Bill. I mean, if people want to gossip, let them. So what? If my work is good, it doesn't matter. My conscience tells me it would be a good idea if you spread yourself around, uh, work-wise. <laughs> well, I can't afford your conscience, and if my children and my dog starve, you won't be able to afford your conscience either. Well, don't get melodramatic about it. I'm going to sleep in the spare room. You haven't got one. Just stay over your side, please. <laughs> Where's Bill? Going to work. Bit early, isn't he? He's got things to catch up on. He's been half sick. Remember? Have you two had a dust-up? Whatever gave you that idea? Nothing, really. Just most of the doors are off their hinges. <laughs> we'll be fine. But will the doors? Hannah, you're putting far too much jam on that toast. Well, don't take it out on me, Mum. It's not my fault you said something to upset Bill. Me? Why does everybody always think it's me? Because it usually is. Oh, thanks. Besides, you talk more than anyone else, so the odds are against you. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't me. Okay, fair enough. Can I eat this in peace? Hannah, what do you think of my artwork? What? Now, forget that I'm your mother. It's not as easy as you think. <laughs> Just tell me what you think. Mum, why can't we not speak to each other in the mornings like normal families? Look at these. What do you want me to say, Mum? I, I just want you to say what you think. 
How will I know if I've said the right thing? Just give me your honest opinion. I want an honest opinion. Well, you don't look as if you want an honest opinion. You look as if you want a human sacrifice. Just tell me. <laughs> look, whatever it is Bill said, I think you're probably being oversensitive. You don't know what Bill said. Give me a clue. Hannah, I haven't got all day, please. So come on. Well? They're fine. Fine? Yeah. <laughs> you as well. Mum? I need to wear that shirt. Have you ironed it yet? No, I haven't. Do it yourself. What's wrong now? She's gone bananas because I said her drawings were fine. Oh, yeah? What does she want you to say? Don't ask me. I'm going. Let's have a look then, Mum. At what? What are these drawings? I've seen enough of my drawings. Yeah, but there seems to be a disputed decision in the penalty area. <laughs> this is artwork, Joe, not Spurs v Arsenal. <laughs> Well, I think they're rubbish. <laughs> Liza. Bill, darling, how are you? Recovered from chicken pox? It wasn't chicken pox. What the hell are you doing here? I'm a design consultant, my darling. Let go of my tape measure. How did you talk your way into that? I've got a diploma. Hold this there. Why haven't I seen it, then? You didn't hang it up? I am not into ostentatious display. And I don't show you everything. But I do believe. Thank you. <laughs> isn't this nice? No, it isn't. Of all the... Gin joints in all the world. Of all the places you could have conned someone into employing you, why here? Well, it was the craziest coincidence. You won't believe it. That much is true. I was sitting next to this charming man at a dinner party and we got chatting. I told him about my urge to oh, do something... Oh, not your urges. My urge to do something independent of Clive and I offered to show him my diploma. He said he didn't need to see it. It wasn't that lucky. But he'd love to see my ideas for the reception area of his office. I honestly didn't know until I was already committed that it was here. Well, of course you didn't. Anyway, won't matter to us, will it? We're far too mature to let our relationship affect our work, aren't we? Don't you start. What does that mean? Bill, great to see you back. How's the mumps? It wasn't mumps. It was a very unpleasant bout of food poison. I see you've met the wonderful Liza Ferrari. <laughs> Liza Ferrari? Well, I didn't want to use McGregor. I wanted something racy and sleek, so I reverted to my maiden name. But your maiden name's Ford. <laughs> Come into my office, you two. Liza can tell you about her plans. You might want some input too, Bill, as art editor. I've been talking to Liza about the reception area particularly, Bill. I want to include lots of exotic plants, being a friend of the Earth. You and the Earth are barely acquainted. I do what I can for conservation. Really? How? I recycle my shoulder pads. Well, that'll repair the ozone layer overnight, won't it? Hang on, you two. I feel as if I'm refereeing a boxing match. What's the problem? Oh, I'm sorry, Richard. I uh, suppose I better tell you. Liza and I were once married. Good God. But you're not anymore, are you? Not likely. So it shouldn't be a problem, then, should it? I really wouldn't know. You've never let emotion interfere with your work, have you, Bill? Or his life. I just thought it was something you ought to know. Well, I appreciate the fact that you've told me, but if it's okay with you two, then it's okay with me. Uh, provided there's no hanky-panky behind the fax machine. That's mm. not my style, Richard. It's very much over between us all now. We are divorced. Good. That's settled then. Now, about the reception area, Liza. I feel it should be light. Bright, full of interest and colour, a subliminal image that here is where creativity blossoms. Can I leave now? I'm not feeling in the best of health. <laughs> Just a second, Bill. This sounds very encouraging, doesn't it? I found quite a good visual portrayal of the effect I'm after. Funnily enough, in a recent issue of Vista magazine. Well, she's very diplomatic, isn't she, Bill? I wouldn't say that exactly. Here it is. A fabulous drawing with just the right balance of colour and plants. It's called the Creative Conservatory. Who did the drawing? Faith Greyshot. Faith Greyshot. It's good stuff. Why don't we see more of her work in the magazine, Bill? Uh, 
Because I'm going to marry her. <laughs> You're kidding. No, I'm not. It's true. What a dark horse you are, McGregor. If I'm a dark horse, I think I'm heading straight for the knacker's yard. <laughs> That's not how it looks to me. You've captured the hearts of two talented women. Look, let's just drop it, can we? Sorry, Bill, I can't get over it. But it seems crazy to waste this combined talent just because of their links with the Scottish Casanova. <laughs> I think it'd be good for the final result if Liza and Faith liaised pretty closely on this one. Let Faith sketch out Liza's ideas. What do you say, Bill? Oh, I, I, I don't really think that would work, Richard. Well, uh, I think it's inspired. Would give me a real chance to get to know Faith. Put her in the picture. After all, we have so much in common. <laughs> Bill. Champagne, does the year meet with modem's approval? This is a bit unexpected, isn't it? And I've prepared a little something for our supper. A triumph, I think you'll find. What are we celebrating? What do you mean, we're not celebrating? You told me you always had lobster and champagne on Thursdays. Something's happened. What's up? There's a body in the library. Apart from that. I am making a fuss over you because I am a caring sort of a bloke. I know you too well, Bill. You're about as subtle as a jacuzzi at Versailles. Look, I have got this conversation planned. Can we just do it my way, Miss Smarty Pants? Oh, so sorry. I didn't know you'd been rehearsing. Please, do carry on. Now, forget all I said last night. I mean, about us being, being an, an item. item. Yes, I remember. The editor was looking at your work, and I told him about us, and he's not bothered. In fact, he wants you to do some drawings for the new office designer. But there's one little snag. I don't care what the damn snag is. Tell him I appreciate his generous offer, but I can't do it. Why can't you do it? Because I've already taken your suggestion to heart. I have widened my horizons and got a six-month contract with Half and Home. Oh, but that's even better! That's wonderful news! Marvellous! Well done! It's not quite that earth-shattering, Bill. Well, you keep telling me. I've got to be more positive, remember? Yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. Well, thank you for your support. <laughs> oh, now we really can celebrate. You ready to eat? Bill, would you be very upset if I said I wanted to go straight to bed? Upset? <laughs> Nothing would give me greater pleasure. No, I, I mean to sleep. I feel absolutely dreadful, Bill. I think I'm going down with something. You haven't got sick just to annoy me, have you? 